Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So right behind me here is a row of green giant arborvitaes. This is a particular variety called Standishi. Uh, we planted these arborvitaes in March or April of 2020, and right now it is October of 2022. So they've technically had three growing seasons in the ground, but they've only actually been in the ground for less than three years. Um, when we first planted them, they were like two and a half, maybe three feet tall at that time. And now I measure these and some of them are getting up to be eight feet tall, which is insane. Um, and I wanted to make this particular video because these are an incredibly popular arborvitae that people are putting in for uh, privacy hedges, for screening, all that good stuff. That's exactly what we're doing here. Um, the place that I'm standing in right now, I'm at my dad's house for those of you that watch my videos. Um, we're in the backyard and I'm on the border between our property and our neighbor's property. Um, we do a lot of stuff in our backyard. We have fires in the summertime. Um, I just generally like to garden, so it's nice to have some privacy. And these green giant arborvitaes are allowing us to have privacy very quickly without putting in like a regular fence or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to go over a couple of specifications. Like I said, this is a specific variety called Standishi. They generally get 25 to 30 feet tall, and then I think it's like eight feet wide or so. Um, I'm gonna put a link down below with more information on this specific variety if you'd like to look into that. There's different varieties of green giant arborvitaes. There's some that stay on the smaller side, some that are larger like this one. Um, this is the one that we could get our hands on at that time, but we're also not gonna let these arborvitaes get to this size. Um, I'm gonna make some other videos in the future once we need to start actually pruning these arborvitaes to show you, um, you know, what it is that we're gonna be doing for the process. So. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, if you wanna see those videos in the future. If not, you can just search for my channel and look for Arborvitae videos um, as well. But I also did make a video on pruning these to establish a leader, as well as the other one, uh, the other row of Arborvitaes that we have on the other side of the yard. Um, I'm gonna show you that later on in the video, just to show you some differences between this row and that other row, because there's actually quite a number of differences. Um, but if you're interested in seeing that pruning video, I'm gonna link that down below as well, if you'd like to see that. Um, but when we're talking about how big these arborvitaes actually get, how fast do they really grow? Um, I know I've heard a lot of people mention like, oh, these can grow up to three feet in a year. Um, there's a couple things I just wanted to say on that. First of all, yes, they really can grow up to three feet in a single year, which is kind of insane, but you have to have the right conditions for it. So with these green giant arborvitaes, they're gonna want a lot of water when you first plant them in the ground, especially if you plant them in the spring like we do, or that we did that year, um, we watered them that entire first season up until probably around this time until mid-October um, and then also they do best in full sun. They're going to grow the fastest if they get full sun and that's the main difference I wanted to talk about between these arborvitaes and the ones on the other side of the yard because those do not get full sun and there is a major difference between these. The other biggest thing is establishing a leader with these um, because if you have multiple leaders coming up like you can see this one here how there's this second one coming up. Um, this is going to inhibit some of the height growth of it, not a lot of it for this one, but especially if you have two main leaders that are kind of side by side, then it's going to take longer for them to get up to that height um, because they're trying to put the energy into two different leaders. So if you have one main leader, then it's going to grow the absolute fastest. So this arborvitae that's right behind me, this is the one that I actually measured. Um, last year, I measured it around the end of July, I think it was like July 19th or so, which these arborvitaes don't really grow a whole lot past the middle of July. By that point, they're kind of just growing or they're, you know, they're kind of done growing for the season um, and just kind of maintaining what they have, storing up energy to grow for the next season and getting ready for the winter time. It's more so just in the spring that they will be growing. So I measured this arborvitae and it was at 62 inches, like 62 and a half last year in July. I just measured this right before making this video and it now has reached eight feet, which is 96 inches. So from 62 to 96 inches is 34 inches. So that's just about three feet. Um, and I think part of the reason why maybe it didn't grow even faster than that or taller is probably because this leader started to catch up with the other one and is trying to gain some height. Um, but they're growing plenty fast enough for us. Um, we're going to end up pruning these at probably about 10 feet or so. So we'll give them an initial prune at about eight feet and then we'll let them fill in for those last couple of feet. Um, so that way we can start to get some more width growing and not so much just height. But just remember that that is when these arborvitaes are getting the absolute best conditions. They're getting at least eight to 10 hours of full sun all day long, which is exactly what they're going to need, especially if you're in a little bit of a colder climate. Um, so if you can give them that, then they're really gonna get to that three foot mark. Now I wanted to show you these arborvitaes for how well they're doing, 
but I also want to show you an example of arborvitaes that don't look so great. Okay, so this is the other row of arborvitaes that we have, and I'm sure right off the bat you can kind of tell they're not looking as great, they're not as dark of a green, and they're obviously not nearly as tall. Here's the crazy thing about these arborvitaes. These were actually planted an entire year before the other arborvitaes, and they started off in the ground just a little bit larger. Um, these were probably closer to the like two and a half, I would say these are probably two and a half feet, and the other ones were about two feet when we planted them. Um, these weren't as perfect looking, they were a little bit like wobbly or whatever um, when we did put them in, but they still pretty much had a leader and I did make sure to prune these to establish one central leader on these. Um, but this is just about the tallest arborvitae in this row. There's a couple that are about the same height, but I measured this arborvitae and this is only 63 inches. So if you remember me talking about the other one from last year when I measured it at 62 inches, this is only an inch taller an entire year later and has been in the ground for another year. Why is that? What's going on with these arborvitaes? So I will let you know that we take care of these arborvitaes the exact same way. We give them a product called Plant Tone from Espoma. Um, I can link that down below if you want to see that product. Um, we typically do like one small bag for each row of arborvitaes. We do that once in the springtime. We watered these in well the first season. And the only real difference that there is between those arborvitaes and these is the amount of sunlight. So right now it is about two o'clock in the afternoon. And these arborvitaes are getting some sun now, but they really don't get a whole lot of sun besides that. Um, they get a little bit of shade for the morning hours, probably until maybe about 11 o'clock or so. The ones that are towards the back, you can see are also being shaded by the shed that we have back over here, which the shed actually went in after those arborvitaes were planted, um, but it still definitely creates some shade for those back arborvitaes. And then behind the camera over here in our neighbor's yards are some very large silver maples that are probably 40 or 50 feet tall at this point. Um, and they provide a lot of afternoon, somewhat filtered sun, but it does get pretty shady. There also was an, a very large U um, behind where the camera is that we actually took down this summer, and that provided almost full shade for this area for the first couple of years. Um, and I knew that when we planted these arborvitaes that they were gonna be pretty shady, but that's also why we went with these plants specifically, so that way, because they were the fastest growing variety of arborvitae, they would hopefully still fill in the fastest. If we planted emerald greens, they probably wouldn't be any taller than they were when we first planted them. Um, there could have been some better options for sure, but this is what we went with and it's consistent with the other side as well. Um, but it just goes to show they take a lot longer to grow when they don't get the amount of sun. We'll see about these arborvitaes for next year. I'm going to be providing some update videos on these arborvitaes to see how they really grow year after year. Um, but that's the main reason why these have taken so long to grow. All right, so taking a second look back to these arborvitaes, you can see just how many differences there really are with the sunlight. So just make sure if you're planning to grow these arborvitaes that you really give them as much sun as possible, or if they don't have a whole lot of sun, then just expect them to take longer to fill in. Those arborvitaes will eventually fill in. We're trying to give them the best conditions they possibly can. Fertilizing them is going to help them to grow, and then getting rid of as many you know, pieces of shade or things that provide shade to that area as possible um, is definitely going to help those as well, but it's just one thing to consider. So those arborvitaes will not grow three feet in a year. These arborvitaes that are getting the best conditions possible definitely have a good chance of getting to that three foot mark. And even then, some of the arborvitaes towards the back of this row still haven't grown three feet a year. I'd say some of the ones towards the back are maybe you know, five to six feet at this point now, and they were almost all the same uh, size when we first bought them, but the ones in the front are definitely closer to eight feet. Nonetheless, they're all gonna be pruned in the end, they're all gonna end up looking the same, and it's just gonna be one big green wall. Besides that, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or comments whatsoever, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. I'll try my best to answer questions that I have with these, um, but again, I don't know everything, so I'll definitely try my best. Um, but besides that, I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you in the next one.